Scientix has been growing over the past decades with thousands of projects and resources feeding our community. Over time, things get fuzzy. So it's time to get reacquainted with Scientix. Whether you're an experienced member of the Scientix community or new to Scientix, don't miss this opportunity to learn what Scientix is all about. Scientix is an initiative of European Schoolnet, and we work to achieve the priorities set by the ministries of education in the STEM area. We make STEM teaching better. We connect STEM education with global challenges. We expand access to STEM careers for all students. And we facilitate exchanges and peer learning. Check out our social media platforms where you can learn more about Scientix and our priorities for STEM education. Scientix produces and collects teaching materials, enables discussions and collaboration, and conducts extensive research to provide education stakeholders with state-of-the-art knowledge and tools. Look for the Scientix in the Spotlight stamp, which highlights events, courses and resources, divided in four categories which will help you make the most of Scientix. Projects and initiatives, teaching tools and resources, professional development, policy support and knowledge. Scientix TV is here to help. You're going to be seeing special features on projects, initiatives, resources, everything there to help you with STEM education. Don't miss our Scientix TV Presents features on social media. Scientix connects STEM education with global challenges, helping teachers contextualize their practice and shape future generations of mindful citizens. We engage in a range of EU-funded initiatives that promote green and blue education. The initiatives achieve a range of international goals around the environmental sustainability and education. All this to help students develop important skills and competences, as outlined in the European Commission's Green Comp framework. Let's go talk to Miriam Molina, who has co-authored a series of articles available in the Scientix Observatory about the importance of nature in formal education. So Miriam, what are the benefits of blue and green education for students? So for students, they get to understand what nature is for its intrinsic value, and they also um, get knowledge about the processes, the biodiversity, the ecosystems. Um, but it's also more than that. They also get to care about the environment, what's around us. Um, so it's important for teachers um, to place uh, nature in the heart of the students. And what is green and blue education? Uh, like, what does it consist of? Well, it consists of that knowledge, that caring for nature, but also feeling for it. So whenever it's possible, it's better to learn about nature in nature. So bring your class outdoors uh, so they can feel and experience in a contextualized manner. So it's really connecting the classroom with the outdoors. Exactly. Whenever it's possible, go beyond the walls of the school and yeah, just explore nature outside. Thank you very much, Miriam. Scientix works with a range of European Commission and private funded projects to bring sustainability to education. If you want to help your students learn about environmental sustainability, Scientix has everything you need. So today we have a teacher who has submitted the form with an idea for an experiment. You can also do the same. And without further ado, let's welcome Dr. Christina. How are Hi, you? Hi, Mr. Scientix, ma'am. Hi, mom. Hi, kids. You know, today we have a really interesting experiment. We are going to do zombie slime because it's Halloween oh, coming. The pinnacle of science. Yeah, of course. <laughs> do you want to do it with us? Of course I do, that's why I'm here. So let's see what we need. First, we will need some food coloring. Yes. Okay. And since we are going to create a zombie slime, it has to be green, isn't it? Obviously, color is the most important part of science. Yeah, that's right. And then uh, we are also going to use water yes. for the mixing. And then some corn flour. Wrong. Corn starch, kids. Totally different. Yeah, if you say so. Also a bowl and uh, something to stir the mix, like spoon. Correct. Yeah. And just because it's going to be a bit messy, we have also some gloves. Do you have, have yours, here? Christina? Yeah. Right here. OK, so we are ready to start. First, we need to add the water, isn't it? Yes, we need 200 milliliters of water. Perfect. And then we have to add the food coloring. Food coloring to make it scary. Mm -hmm. And now it's time for the fun. Yeah. We're going to add the cornstarch. We need twice as much cornstarch as water. Oh. 
you will notice as you mix it that it gets harder and harder to mix. Mm -hmm. That's because a suspension of cornstarch and water is a non-Newtonian fluid. Oh. It means that it gets stiffer the more pressure you put into it. Okay, and it's becoming harder and harder to mix harder because of Harder and harder it. to mix because you're putting pressure into it. Okay, it looks good, isn't it? It's perfect! Do you want to try it now? Yes, let's try it now! This zombie slime is a non-Newtonian fluid, which means that its viscosity depends on pressure, not temperature. Cornstarch particles have a rough surface. When a fast shear force is applied, like, for example, punching it, the long starch molecules are forced closer together, causing the particles to lock together. The impact of this force traps the water between the starch chains to form a semi-rigid structure. When the pressure is released, the particles roll over each other, allowing the cornstarch to flow again. Well, that was a lot of fun. Thank you so much, Christina, for coming today and showing this experiment. Thank you, Mr. Scientix Man. And for the rest of you, see you uh, in the next episode for more Science in Action. Bye. Bye. Join the GenB MOOC to learn about the fundamentals of bioeconomy. You will learn more about the GenB materials and how to effectively introduce them into your lessons. In addition, you will also learn about different careers in the field of bioeconomy and how to inspire your students to pursue them. You will also learn about the whole school approach and how to make your school a more sustainable place by following the seven-step eco-school methodology. GenB MOOC is a super fun MOOC because you will have uh, access to GenB materials that are very hands-on, project-based, they are very engaging, very visually appealing, and they're adaptable, created for students from the ages of 4 to 19. So you will find a large opus of materials like educational cards or games and board games that you can uh, implement uh, in different lessons we, in collaboration with other colleagues. They are very engaging and they are also available in multiple languages. They are awesome, honestly, because of that, because you have this, uh, this feeling that you are doing something proactively, that you are engaged and that you are a part of this discussion and you, you are making a change. You are actually learning new habits and how to properly implement bioeconomy and sustainable practices in, in daily life. Life. Join us at the Gen B MOOC today so we can make a generation by economy a reality.